Hello, everybody, and welcome to Race 8. It is the Bowman Gray 100 from Bowman Gray Stadium in Salem, North Carolina. It is a beautiful night for beating and banging on the short track. And we're going to take a look at some of the storylines that we have coming into today's race. Philip Torres last week at Nashville became the first of the subs to win. And he is the current points leader. Can he add on to that points lead? Will Boucher, he is on the pole, his second pole of the year. Can he, find, can he get a win? Can he make it back-to-back -back wins for our subs? And then last week, a lot of the drivers were warned for aggressive driving after incidents at Nashville. Uh, there's quite a few drivers there. Um, one of those come to mind. Two come to mind. I'm sure you guys will know who that is. Um, but anyhow, the officials say it's in a lot of control, and they need to race with a lot of respect. So, hammer's been dropped. So here's the starting grid, as we mentioned, Will Boucher is on the pole alongside of Chase Elliott. Row two, we've got Tony Stewart and Matt Kenseth. Matt Kenseth won at Bay County. The third row, we've got Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Julian Meredith. The fourth row, we have got David Stremme and Eric Alvarola. Both drivers have won races this year. Red Farmer and Danny Hamster take up row number five. Row six, we have Philip Torres, the points leader and last week's winner, alongside of Lance Meredith. Row 7, we have Kyle Busch alongside of Jaden Dubrow. Row number 8, we've got Fernando Alonso and Dan Edwards. Row number 9, we're way in the back, but the car is pretty good alongside of Keith Light from Snowball Derby winner. Row 10, we've got Kyle Larson and Todd Jarrett. And taking up the rear of the field, we have Sarah Waite alongside of Ryan Dangerfield and Carvana Chevrolet. So the field will get ready to roll off. It is a gorgeous night here in Bowman Green, North Carolina. Crystal clear, just a clear sky, no chance of rain, and sure to be exciting short track racing. So with that said, I'm going to shut up and pack away, let you enjoy the sights and sound of Bowman Green and short track racing. Enjoy the race, and I will be back at halfway. And This is a 100 lap race. Try to save your 
All right, first caution on lap number 10. And this is a spin involving Jaden Bedreau and Todd Jarrett. But looking at the replay back and back, uh, Bedreau had a little bit of help there. So it really wasn't his fault. So take a look at his. This is his rear, and Light was really riding his rear, giving him the chrome horn, and that's what gets him into Jarrett and spins him around. So first casualty of the night. So we are going to get back to racing. Will Boucher continues to lead Tony Stewart, and we have moved up through the field gingerly, and we are back racing here at Bowman Green. Uh, that's Bowman Gray, Matt, you big dummy. Anyhow, Bowman Gray. Outside, all clear. Outside. 
Outside. Clear high. Outside. All clear. Outside. Still there. Still outside. Clear high. Outside. Still outside. Still there. Clear high. Outside. Still there. All clear.
still outside. Clear high. Caution down. Caution down. Caution down. Keep digging. Come on. The road is closed, but. Great job, buddy. Just past halfway. Caution is out, buddy. Caution is out. Roll out the throttle. Okay, your car has the field. Get caught up there. All right, we have reached the halfway caution, and Will Boucher continues to spank the field as he continues to lead. We have moved up to sixth. Now, I don't believe anybody's going to be making pit stops here. Um, I think the tires are good enough. Uh, pit stops are optional. It's kind of a wild pit road that we have here. Um, so... I think we're just going to take the track position right now and run sixth. I think a lot of the guy, other guys do it. Because I think in previous races, and I really want the subs to try to get more wins here, and I have everybody's uh, ratings. We're all equal. Um, but there's a few races. I think it was like the opening race that, I think it was Will, uh, Philip Torres. You got, me and him, we both pitted when no one else pitted, and we both kind of got screwed on that. So no one's pitting. Uh, Boucher... Ian Tony Stewart on the front row. Let's see if we can get up there as we are back green at lap 55. And Matt Kenseth showing a little impatience. Gets into the back of me coming out of four. I didn't think it was going to be enough to bring a caution out, but apparently it did. So we went from about sixth. I think the last car in the lead lap, I think it's like 15th right now. So yeah, just not happy, but Matt usually doesn't race like that. So... He was basically riding me all the way down the front stretch and the back stretch. And he really wanted to get by me and he gave me the curl board. So, we're in the back. Uh, a few guys pit. We didn't pit. We didn't really hurt our tires that much, so we'll try it again. Our car is pretty good, but just hate losing that track position because I think we have a pretty good car that can go up there and challenge for the win. So, we have an uphill battle ahead of us. So, Boucher and Tony Stewart continue as we will get the green flag here on lap 65. Outside. 
still there inside. All clear. Get that rhythm, man. Let's go get these boys. Inside. Still there. Clear low, buddy. Outside. Clear high. Outside. Still outside. All clear. Ten laps to go this time by nice and smooth. You're doing an awesome job today, buddy. Keep the pressure on them. Right, and a big congratulation to Will Boucher as he wins from the pole. And that is two weeks in a row that a sub wins, which I am very happy for. And Boucher had a fast car. And I, I thought he led all the laps after going back and looking at the stats. He led 97 laps. I think Tony kind of jumped and restarted a few times there, and that didn't happen. But he clearly was the class of the field. Uh, we come back to finish third. And going back to Will Boucher, I want to give a shout-out. This is at the time of uh, that he recorded the uh, the 24 Rolex. I haven't watched it all. I'm probably about halfway, but he did one hell of a job with that. And big shout-out to him. That was an awesome video. So here is the results as he holds off Stewart. We come all the way back to third. Dale Earnhardt Jr., David Stremme, Matt Kenseth sixth. Uh, Philip Torres comes home seventh. Brad Farmer. Dude, he was a hairball man will throw. Kyle Busch. Julian Meredith, the top 10. Uh, there were 20 cars that did finish on the lead lap. Tough day for Lance Meredith and Sarah Quaint. They were way back in the field. Um, but I'm pretty stoked about this finish. I feel like we really had a fast car that can get up there and then the contact with Matt Kenzie. But um, it was gratifying to get by him. And I didn't, didn't wreck him. Did it nice and cleanly. But I will take a third place finish. But again, just happy again that another one of my subs win and 
This is a guy I follow all the time, and his you got to check his comments out. It is just awesome. Here's the points standings now. We're eight races in, and Philip Torres now four points ahead of David Strummy. We're up to third. 15 points. We're tied with Matt Kenseth. Lance, the Meredith brothers, uh, fifth and sixth. Lou Boucher, he moves up to seventh. Eric Almarola, Tony Stewart, and Red Farmer right now are holding on to the top ten. And we look at the guys way at the bottom of the list. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. has moved up at that race that he missed. Really hurt him. And we're trying to get Sarah Waite and Neil Pedro to get some good runs for them. Uh, there's still plenty of time. There's still five more races left to run. And Denny Hamster, the dingbat, with that penalty earlier in the year. Serves him right. He's right now 27 in the point stand. So that's going to wrap it up here from Bowman Gray. Um, next up on the schedule, the next race, is race nine, Historic North Wilkesboro. So that is going to be fun. Um, not sure what version of the track I'm going to I don't know if I'm going to do the latest version or if I'm going to do a more historic version of the track. Still trying to make up my mind on what I want to do for that. But anyhow, that is the next race. And in the next day or so, I'm going to have the um, chase race. It is Charlotte. I'm a little bit behind on things. Just been kind of a busy couple of weeks. And as I mentioned before, I'm trying to get all this done before July. So I am going to be taking about a month, month and a half off from streaming. Um, going away on vacation and just spending some family time. So in the meantime, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. I really, really appreciate all the love and support. It means a lot to me. Um, you know, I do this because I really enjoy it. I just love doing this. I'm not really doing it for the subs or any of that stuff. You know, if anybody wants to take the time to watch the video, it's just greatly appreciated. And it means a lot to me. And it keeps me motivated and wanting to keep creating content. So from, from now, um, I'm going to say so long. Um, Y'all have a great day. Bye.